In this video, we're looking at how to secure our remote desktop uh, protocol or RDP with a cloud connection. RDP stands for Remote Desktop Protocol, as I mentioned a second ago. It's a proprietary protocol developed by Microsoft that allows users to connect to another computer over a network connection in a graphical interface, making it look like uh, um, and feel like uh, as they're interacting with the remote computer locally. RDP is commonly used for remote administration, remote work, and other scenarios where users uh, need to access computer or server from a different location. Um, now, RDP is a powerful tool, but like many other technologies, it can be vulnerable if not properly secured. For example, if um, RDP is exposed to the internet without uh, necessary security measurements, attackers can attempt to guess username and passwords through repeated attempts. Or attackers can intercept an RDP traffic if it's not encrypted, allowing them to capture data or inject malicious codes. Uh, simply having RDP open to the internet increases the attack surface. It is recommended to use uh, VPNs or other secure methods to access RDP rather than exposing it directly. First thing we need to do here is to add our server as a host to our Cloud Connexa. Now, you may ask, what is a host? Host is an application server uh, that basically offers private services that are accessible by the WPC or Wide Area Private Cloud. The host is reachable by the tunnel IP addresses assigned to it on a connection. And if a domain name is provided, it is accessible via that domain name as well. Again, to remotely access your desktop via the internet, your network must be configured to allow incoming RDP connections. This involves having a static IP address, setting up a DMZ, enabling port forwarding, and many other things. Exposing your computer to the internet can make it vulnerable, as I mentioned it earlier. That's where Cloud Connexa comes to play. Cloud Connexa not only encrypts uh, all communications, but also provides an added layer of security beyond just the RDP username and password. Since our goal is to access a single server remotely, there is no need to connect the entire network. That's why we add a host instead of a network here. Now, let's go ahead and add our host. I'm gonna click on add host, and we need to give a name here to our RDP. I'm just gonna call it RDP uh, secure, and then for the connector, uh, let's call it RDP connector. Then you choose the region. I'm in Los Angeles area. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Click on next. This is where we're going to deploy our uh, RDP connector. It's going to be on the Windows machine. So I'm going to drop this down and then choose Windows Server. As you can see, we have two steps here. First, we need to download and install the Connect app on our server and then uh, configure it to run the OpenVPN Connect app as a service. So first, let's go ahead and download the Connect app and install it. I'm going to click on Download. It is downloaded here. Let me open it and extract it. And here we go. So we're going to run uh, this uh, to install the OpenVPN Connect app. Click on Next and go through the installation. And here we go. Installation is done. Let's go ahead and click on Finish. And here we go. The Open uh, VPN Connect app is installed. The very first time we need to agree to the license agreement. And then as you can see, the profile is already there. So if I toggle the switch, it should connect automatically. Here we go, it's connected. So let's go back to our admin uh, UI. The second step is uh, configuring to run this as a service. We're configuring our Connect app as a service so that it automatically establishes a connection upon system startup, regardless of whether someone manually initiated. Click on this link. It's going to give you an instructions on uh, how to do this, a step by step. And as you can see, we need to be on the command prompt and run a couple of commands. So I'm going to bring up my command prompt and I'm going to make these windows side by side so we can follow. First, uh, first uh, command that we have to run, we need to get out of this directory. So I'm going to run this and then we have to go to the OpenVPN Connect directory. So I'm going to copy that uh, command and enter it here. So we are on this directory. Now, the next step, which is uh, step five, we need to install the system service by typing basically this 
uh, command here. So let's go ahead and paste that here and service is installed successfully. Now, the rest of these uh, steps are optional. If you see it necessary, you can run it. And then the uh, step eight, you can uh, start the service. So you can paste that command here and uh, start the service. And here we go, our service is started. Now I'm gonna go back to the admin UI we got the connect app installed and configure it as a, to run as a service. So we're gonna click on next. Now, as you can see, the connector status comes uh, connected, a green light, so we can move forward. Click on next. The next step is that uh, you can add application if your host has uh, a domain name. In our case here, we don't have a domain name, so we, we won't be able to add any application here. So I'm gonna click on next. This is the IP services. You can add your IP services. Basically, it's going to define the access to a specific IP address range and protocols for this host. We're going to leave it as blank and click on Next. The last step is configuring access group. You can either add an access group or you can configure one of your existing ones, or you can just continue and do this uh, later on by accessing the access group from the menu. I'm going to do this here. I'm just going to give our accounting team access to this RDP. So I'm going to click on this um, edit button and then choose a host RDP secure, the one that I'm just creating. And I'm going to click on update access group. So basically, now everybody who's part of my accounting team can access this, uh, this RDP uh, server, but nobody else. And we're done, so we're going to scroll down and click on Finish. Let me refresh this page. And as you can see, my RDP is secure, and it's online, and this is the connector IP address. This is what we're going to use to connect uh, from a remote location. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to minimize from this screen and going back to my local machine. Now, we need to have a user connect to our uh, cloud connection. So let's see who's uh, part of our accounting team. I'm going to go to users and uh, I can see Bruce here, part of our accounting team. Now, if Bruce doesn't have the uh, client app installed on his computer, he can just go to this link, the uh, address for our Cloud Connexa, and uh, log into uh, client user interface and download the uh, client app. So I'm going to log in uh, to uh, show you how it looks. So as you can see, Bruce logged into his portal. Here he can uh, choose the operating system that he has and download the client app and uh, install it on his computer. We already have the client app installed on this computer. So I'm gonna bring it up here and I'm gonna connect as Bruce. Again, Bruce is part of the accounting and we give permission to accounting to connect to our um, remote desktop. Now let's go back to host here and we want to get the IP address for our connector. And this is the IP address. So this is what we're going to use to uh, RDP to our server. So I'm going to bring up my uh, RDP app and uh, paste the IP address here and we're going to connect as uh, Bruce to our server. And here we go. Uh, Bruce is connected uh, using the tunnel IP address uh, to the server. So this is how you secure an RDP connection using Cloud Connexa. Thank you very much.